it is the dark side of Reddit where promotion and shilling is hard to control. Going back to these messages quickly, what what are these? These are people. These are people trying to troll you and as and also try to get to know you. I'm just I'm, like I have to keep uh, keep my what do you call it? Just keep keep like a protection wall of what is true and what is just absolute trolling. Just because because of uh, well getting the hang of the online. So I, I honestly think most of the stuff I received are are genuine. But then again, like somebody asking someone asking for a picture of me with their username. Yeah. I feel like there's more uh, vicious intention to achieve with that than him framing it on his desk. Why the hell would you want that? But then again, I'll still do it. Fucking enjoy it. Have yeah. fun. You want to Photoshop and do something with it? Fair enough. But why, why would why would they want that? What would they do with that? I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. That's the thing. Like people have different intentions. Some of them just want you to reply. So sometimes people even are like, oh fuck you. I hope you die. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, oh, I didn't know you'd reply. Actually, you're cool, dude. What are you doing online? Like why? Why are you being aggressive to someone you don't know? Then once you get like a reply or attention, you're like, okay, actually, it's, I'm happy now. That's just really weird. But some of them just want me dead. And some of them just actually are kind. They're like, what do you do? Oh, that sounds fun. You, did you actually, you know, are you actually one person? Did you actually get a job out of it in that sense? And a lot of people are like, well, what do you mean a job? Do you make money off of Reddit? And then I have to explain it again that of course not, otherwise, I wouldn't be here. My account would be long banned. And well, what is making money off Reddit? What, what does that mean? You can make money off Reddit. Like I got a lot of offers to to try and plug products. Okay. Just make a gif out of a video, plug it. Try to link stuff. Some articles, like shady articles, just they're like, yeah, if I send you an article, could you post it? Because they think that if I post it, it's gonna trend. But I'm not a Twitter account with a bunch of followers. I'm just mm. I know where to post and when to post on Reddit. So. Even though I guess some people might be following me to upvote me or downvote me, it doesn't matter. I guess it it kind of <laughs> like it neutralizes both ends to nothing at the end. But uh, so even though some people might be following me, it doesn't work that way. Reddit doesn't like if you post something, you don't get notifications to go, you know, and it's not a page, so you just happen to see it on on so, a sub and. and who, so page. who's who's getting in contact with you to post stuff? What kind of companies? Is it like drinks company? You know, on no, Instagram you, you find. Yeah. It's all those teeth whitening or like yeah, you know, or that the kind of rubbish. slimming teeth. Yeah, thingy. yeah, exactly. It's, it's that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, Lamau, get alive seriously. What a gigantic loser you are. Damn. I don't even know where he comes from. <laughs> yeah. I don't hear. What are you talking about? Anyway. Just uh, hassling. Just hassling? Just happy new year. Many mini posts. Thank you. Like, just kind work. Kind. Like, to be fair, at the, uh, when I first started playing around, I had more negative uh, messages than positive, And now it's absolutely overwhelmingly positive, which is cool. Okay. And negative messages still come around because it's the internet but but it's more it's funny more than anything like it's actually entertaining i just clip it and post it to to like some slack groups or moderator groups or just and we have fun with it yeah because why the hell not yeah, but, yeah. but yeah sorry man uh, just to go back to what you're saying uh the the whole thing like promotion can be can range from either product they ask you to do something with the product like create a gif or obviously you create a gif or a video or something or a picture um like I think I mentioned it in the Forbes article, like drones. Oh yeah, that was a Chinese company that wanted me to, they wanted me, they wanted to send me drone or yeah, a drone and something else, some gadget. And for me to film it and post it for money, but then I don't know how to film stuff. I'm not interested in promoting products like that because like I, what, I'm not a producer. What the hell am I going to do? Haha, <laughs> that's fun. And even if I did, like it's just, it would kill the whole present on Reddit. Other things are YouTubers genuinely asking me for advice or to post their videos because mm. they think if I post it, it'll trend. But does, like, I would honestly always watch the video if I have time and give them advice, tell them how to GIF something, like how to take a video, turn it in a GIF, where to post it, how to present it, how not to screw up a title by, you know, being, haha, this is amazing, not, never emoji or haha or something. Just you have to be kind of generic and not clickbaity, but mm. but your titles, you know. But draw people in. Yeah. yeah, and if if you sound like an idiot on the title, all the comments are going to be like shit title. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. Reddit for you. It's just, yeah. But do, uh, do you think other mods then? Um, I, I guess other high profile mods also get approached to like sell stuff. Um, oh, do you shit. think? Do you think? Anyway, <laughs> I'll <laughs> drink yours? it. Yeah. <laughs> do you think anyone else? Do you think anyone else takes it on board? Do you think? Do you think they? Uh, are happy to pay be paid to, to chill products or to be honest giving it's like a flat flat out no one does it whatsoever no i think some do i think most people that are, go are going to get um so they're going to get approached for any kind of promotions or things that are not moderators it's more it's more 
I'm not sure what to call it, but like power users or karma whores, whatever you want to call them, or just active linkers on Reddit. I mean, Reddit is an aggregation website, so it's pretty predominantly links, but ne not necessarily what you... So I'll tell you a little thing. You know that if you have something, if you're promoting your own product or your photography on Reddit, you can't post more than 10% of your personal, like OC, original okay. content. You can't post more than 10%. Otherwise, it's, it's considered uh, self-promotion. And it goes against their ready cat, like the rules. So they get, they ban you, they remove you, and you get banned from subreddits. Which means, if you're posting just original content, if you're a YouTuber or Instagram and you have a bunch of cute dogs and you, you like just sharing it, you can't. Which means Reddit is predominantly just find shit online and post it there. So it's not, obviously you create original stuff as well, but the people don't know that they're like, you know, DeviantArt, you only post original stuff. Reddit is a link aggregation, so it's general things online that trend and people dump it. And um, so the, the thing is, linkers, link aggregators, let's call it, to not use karma whores, even though it's kind of a fun term. Like my girlfriend called me a karma whore. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the, uh, the whole thing is, so someone who links a lot is going to be seen as someone who knows how to make things trend. And obviously a moderator doesn't necessarily post things like okay. yeah, but as a moderator like they can approach you to be like please unban me from our videos i want to post my shitty spammy mm. whatever fake fake uh, you know freebooted video but for promotion it's mostly active linkers like i know a bunch of friends who also got approached and um it makes sense just because people see them and like oh so i don't want to bash on any kind of people out there and because i don't really know how it works but it's always not always it's often like, I'm not sure what you call it. Like, not call centers, you know, in, in some, uh, on like third world countries or something, but like centers of where people are actually just spamming. Like, they're spammers. There are, I think there are sweatshops mm -hmm. and there are spamming web sweatshops as well. Like, it's actually people sitting there and spamming. Yeah. Maybe it's just one person or a bunch of people, but they do it professionally. So, so like thousands of computers and people yeah, with fake accounts. And, that's and it. That to up and down that or or maybe stuff. like a group of five people who are mm. on, they have like a list of different, um, what do you call it, just um, users and they log on and off of them and upvote, do so, like just manipulate the votes or, mm. or post scummy, spammy stuff like weird articles or weird. A lot of them are freebooted videos on, on YouTube. So they, a lot of times you, you see something trending on Facebook and then you, you see it try to appear on Reddit by like a fake source. Right because they will monetize this and make money. So he'll post on our videos and obviously the moderators there are, are accustomed to how to, you know, how to point, like, sorry, how to track down something that's fake or, or, or not. And they try to make money, revenue out of it. Sometimes it's a link to a fake website. And even if you click, you're gonna make them money just by views. Mm. It doesn't go anywhere. I don't understand how, like how is that a drive? Because you end up banned, you, your website end, ends up blacklisted and you just have a shitty time. Like, yeah, yeah. Why would you try it? I mean, there are better ways to make money. That's it. But, but it's, it's still it's still possible to go on Reddit with um, with an alternative agenda, i.e., making money in some way or another by fake upvotes, by fake accounts, and get yourself to the top in some way. Because we we did that, yeah, obviously, so with our original I video, love that right? You guys did that. Thank you. And um, <laughs> yeah, and you know that's all. I imagine it because it was so easy for us. I imagine it happens regularly with other power users, as you say. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. I do get asked that a lot. Yeah. Like, are you actually buying upvotes or, or a lot of times people are, um, they, you know, username mentioned me. So I get the, the mm. notifications. So I can see the, the thread or the conversation and they're like, uh, yeah, obviously or anything you post gets to the front page because not you, sorry, they're talking to people like, and I come up in the conversation. They're like, I mean, anything he posts gets to the front page because obviously he buys upvote. Do you know how much money I would have to spend to buy all that? Like, and why? Why would I post a stupid picture of a cute dog and buy upvotes for it? Mm. And then it doesn't go anywhere. That's it. I don't even comment to a link or like, why. But but you, you are accused of shitting quite a lot, aren't you? That's that's a fairly common thing. Because in our video, people, even the comments on yeah. YouTube, people saying like, oh, Gallo Boob, Gallo Boob, you know. <sighs> and you, you, you message us and saying, thanks for the, <laughs> thanks yeah. for the, the, the notifications. But um, but that that's, yeah. how do you respond to that? Because people seem to, people are sure that you are buying up votes and you're reposting old content and generally you're just not using the site in the way it's supposed yeah. to be used. How do you respond to that? I, so it's not people, but I'll, yeah. I'll tell you so what it is. Okay. Um, I remember on, on the, on the, so when I saw that trend on Reddit, your video, and I was like, holy shit, that's so good. And then I wasn't expecting to get, you know, that many summons. At first I got a, a few and I'm like, okay, it makes sense. And as you went on the front page and, you know, stayed there for a while, mm. I kept getting summons of people just discussing things about me or being, not even trying to talk to me, just like, yeah, he does that, he does that. And then I would go on the, on the, on the YouTube video and I see the top comment is something about me. And I'm like, dude, 
why it was funny and kind of but but yeah and then people were like defending me people were not it's kind of the way of the online but mm. the people who were sum summoning me on, on your thread were discussing the whole aspect of um, like so you'd have someone who doesn't have any, a clue say that obviously someone like Galagoob is gonna buy up votes and then you have some very upvoted comment you know you know replying to him saying that why the hell would he mm. that's not how it works and trying to explain it to them like the there are people who know and people who absolutely who don't have a clue. The people who know sometimes can't be asked always explaining the same things. Like that's what happens to me. I, I know how things work, but like I get summoned every day to random threads asking the same damn questions, the same thing. What do you do? How do you do it? Why do you do it? And just, just, just do it, man. Mm. I do it because I got bored initially and I kept doing it. I got to tap into a community, meet a lot of good people and feel like something was working. So it was hard for me to pull back. And to be fair, initially I just got on Reddit because of Photoshop battles, because I was, I enjoyed to Photoshop, you know, stupid stuff and post it like as memes or whatever. And that got me introduced to the everything else and tapping into the community and staying there and maybe overdoing it a bit. But then again, if you enjoy something, just do it. Did any employers ever ask you to, to cross that line and, and do something with your mod, your mod status or your Reddit status that you shouldn't put? Yeah, and they do? got shut down quick. It's really? not even they asked me. They're like, so what do you think we can do? I'm like, yeah, but I'm not stepping. It's not it's not spilling over my account mm. ever. If you mm. want to do something, I'll give you advice. I'm happy to give you advice and not advice in the sense how to like how to abuse it, but basic advice. If you have something interesting, you can do that with it and it could trend. It could not. You could try to plug the source, it could get shot on, or people are going to praise it and it'll get picked up. But um, to be fair, at work, they they understand the whole, like, I re even remember my first day when I got, you know, the interview on both companies, you know, Lad Bible and Unilad. I, I just was kind of clear on the whole thing of, like, I'm not here to, to shill on Reddit at all. I'm, if anything, I'm here to to use my understanding of the internet to a certain extent to work with you guys. And obviously I didn't put it in contract, but that was clear since day one because I have too much to lose if, mm -hmm. if I try something and it backfires. Like I have everything to lose. And if I lose everything, it's just not worth it for what? For like more money on their end? Like mm -hmm. obviously if they pay me like $5 million to post something, fuck yeah, I'm posting that. But <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean? Like for a salary, what am I gonna shell my account on Reddit? It's personal, I enjoy it. It kind of made the name for myself and I do take a weird pride in it. Hell, my dad does too. His background on his phone was like, I think my Snoo avatar or something. And one day I saw it, I was like, are you actually kind of proud? And he's like, why wouldn't I be? Mm. That made me kind of happy. And I know it's cringy and maybe sad to some, but you've done something out of it. I'm not going to ruin it by, you know, being like, yeah, I'm going to plug shit. Mm. Nah, it's not worth it. But you can, you can see why, but you can see why some people might accuse you of doing stuff because you, you have built a very successful career out of it. Um, you know, you had uni lads, now you've got um, your new job. Yeah. Um, I can mention you, you, who it you, is. You, you wouldn't have had those jobs had you, not had, had you not had your Reddit success. No, no, and hell no. It would make sense for you, it's logical <laughs> that you would perhaps, you know, buy up votes and stuff to get yourself to a position which oh, you can yeah. get yourself a job. Yeah, yeah. So you can, um, you can understand why people what, might think that. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, you just pretty much buy popularity yeah. in that sense. Yeah, I guess you could do it, but um, yeah, 100%, you could do it. But then again, I think it's going to cost you more money than you're making because like, you guys tried to buy it. It's not very expensive, but it's mm. also not cheap in that sense. Like if you're going to buy posts, sorry, buy upvotes for every post and actually accumulate that much, I don't think it. I don't think yeah. it's smart. But I know what you're saying. It's 100% it's true. I think uh, so. I, a lot of people's concern was so if I'm working with media pages like Lad Bible or Unilad, these pages most pages let's say even buzzfeed or cnn whatever most media feeds off of reddit and twitter and like you know hubs of trending content but reddit primarily also because they have a massive community and they have like the, the refreshing constant refreshing front page with new content and interest and at the end of the day you, it's like a test audience so if you post something on reddit it's popular like it gets so popular they know if they're posting it on you know like it's an article just a cute stupid ass dog article all right it's gonna get clicks because reddit test audience is actually really good it's general it's global same applies to media pages like unilad lad bible or any any kind of page like board panda i was also supposed to work with them just didn't because they were overseas i think lithuania or something which i should have done lithuania has pretty girls but, <laughs> but um so these, these people are not necessarily feeding off of Reddit, but they're also keeping an eye on Reddit and everything that trends, they kind of either report it or try to well work with it. And there's the 
the real aspect of when you see something go viral on Reddit, you kind of reach out and try to promote it yourself. As Unilad, Lad Bible, BuzzFeed, anything. Like I'm trying to think of other media pages that do that, and just none come to mind right now. But but they're endless. And so the aspect of finding something popular on Reddit, trying to either cover it as an article or post it directly as a video, you know, by contacting the OP and be like, hey, we just want to post your video and credit you. Can we do that? And then you do that. But your source is Reddit. So people were saying that I am feeding off of it, but so is everyone else in the world. And the thing is, um, yeah, I'm not trying to promote anyone or anything. I'm not even working with them anymore, but they are friends. Well, you need not necessarily led by them. <laughs> <laughs> They're rivals, right? Yeah. They're rivals. And yeah, I left for, for reasons anyway. Uh, but, but yeah, Unilad were, were good people, friends. And the, the way they work is they, they contact you because you have a funny video and ask you to, you know, post it. What is wrong with that? It's that they're promoting you in that sense. Yeah, they're making millions of views for themselves. But after all, they have that following. You don't. So it's like, a you know, like you meet halfway. They make more profit. By profit, I mean, like, they not necessarily monetary profit. They just profit more off of, you know, posting your video because it's going to get them 50 million views. You're going to get 1,000, 2,000 followers, maybe a bit more or more coverage, but then you die out. They won't. They're going to stay there and do that every day. Um, yeah, I can understand why people are susceptible to being like, oh, this is, is weird. But most of the times when you explain it to them, I'm not going to say smart people, people who understand how the world works, they're going to be like, oh, fair enough, dude. You just made something, like created something out of nothing. And in this age today, that kind of works. Like it media works that way you just everyone want to rehash content like recycled content that's refreshed daily with interesting depressing or you know whatever stories that just trend for a day and then just de decay die out quickly and that's that's the age we live in to be fair i like i can't wait to unplug it entirely but i just don't want to be online don't want to see cute dogs anymore I say it in that sense, but I don't think I'll ever do it. But um, Do you think other mods are doing the same thing then? Do you think they're trying to build their own profile to get jobs outside of Reddit? Yeah, so to to comment on that, I'm not going to give out any names mm. just for their own you know, security and job security. But um, I had a I had a friend who was a moderator on... Oh, shit, I can't, right? I had a friend who was a default mod on one of the biggest subs on Reddit. He messaged me asking, like, how... That was after I leveraged my Reddit whatever persona or fame or infamy, whatever you want to call it, into actual, like, a job and a name i guess people can relate to oh that's you and so he was asking me how did you do it and how can i do it and i always give them advice the thing is that that dude actually went and doesn't matter which media company it's in the states and he did the same thing i did he was like hello i'm moderator of this and that i actively you know moderate this community i am interested in whatever cute content this is what i do and he became a community manager there which is really good and, and i was so happy i told him well yeah, dude, good. And he had kids and, and he was quite excited about the whole like, like creating a job, I guess, mm -hmm. because, and then a lot of people actually reach out with that same thing. They're like, man, please, how can I actually make money? Not off of Reddit, but via Reddit. Like, and I tell them the same things. If you're moderating a community, I like, like are creepy, maybe find, and that's not the best, best example, but like are, ah, oh, you know, go on web, on Facebook or like any kind of website and try to, maybe be like a community manager for the for these similar communities or be something you can be a lot of things i didn't think that there is such a thing like a media executive job that just mm. you know is, is there a bit of a conflict of interest though if you um, work for a viral media company oh yeah and, and you're a moderator you're, and you're a moderator yeah, yeah. Of, a, of a threat of a, a subreddit that yeah. has viral content is, 100%. A bit of a, is there a bit of a conflict of interest in and that? it happened in the past like a lot of things happened like that you had moderators who um, were just plugging you know deleting posts that didn't promote their own interests or websites and things like that but obviously they got clipped eventually in absolute shit storms of drama and downvotes the uh, the thing to me is I can, I moderate communities that are like our Tifu today are fucked up. It's just stories. It's fun for me. I, what else do I moderate? I moderate. Um, I'm going to hell for this because it's fun and people are very triggered like easily. And it's like it's it's really a terrible community, but in the sense where it's good to see people light up. I don't know, man. And we keep it civil, to be honest. It was terrible before, but now we're rather civil. Otherwise, we'd get deleted. Like crappy design, roast me. Roast me is my favorite sub. 
circle jerk instant regret like these things I only got added to everything else because of, of like friendly relationships mm -hmm. with moderators it wasn't out of specific interest of me wanting hey I need to get into that and to be fair me personally if I moderate something like that if I remove a post everyone sees it if I approve a post everyone sees it whatever I do everyone sees it if I'm trying to do something that's a bit shady I'm gone and to be fair for instance if I was moderating our videos that would be weird because um, I could be favoring something. So for instance, our video is big because you can post a video and make revenue off of it. Mm -hmm. If I'm working in a media company and they have specific interests of promoting people or promoting themselves, it gets weird for me to be allowed to have that kind of um, power. Yeah. And I wouldn't be comfortable with it, but, but I know what you mean. And, and yeah, like for instance, that dude who had a job out of it, he was moderating community, I think on Facebook uh, with his new job. Didn't necessarily have anything to do with his, um, his him moderating the subreddit, but it also I get what you're saying because at the end of the day, you don't know what people are gonna you know they could end up doing something a bit scummy and and because mm. Reddit relies on yeah. the moderators, it relies on the community yeah, that's to true, that find the good true. stuff, but um, things can go very easily wrong here. Yeah, it's not an official south. job, is it? And and uh, you know. It, most people don't know who the moderators are. Uh, you've, you've decided to come out and, and you know, um, to be, be public, but many other moderators could easily get into this position. You've got, how many here? About 20 different threads you're moderating? Like Loads. 70, but most 70. of them are not necessarily active. It's most like just silly subs. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of them are active. So you've got, yeah, you got 70 subreddits you're moderating there. Um, you know, that you could take that to a viral company and say, look, I, I, I can easily get you um, to the top of... 10 different subreddits with 40 million people if you subscribe. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean. Um, and there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's nothing in place to stop that. There's no, no. check and balance in place to stop no. that kind of thing. Is that a danger for Reddit, do you think? And it's, it's, there's nothing in place and not just that. There's like, it's, it's pretty much down to my moral fabric of deciding to pretty much screw over a community of millions for personal gain or not. I enjoy doing me on Reddit more than, than anything else. So I, I don't see myself doing it, but I understand what you're saying with that and to be fair it is kind of a weird thing like the the thing is most of them wouldn't even make it public so if you are a moderator of uh, let's say our picks and you work in whatever photography i don't even know i don't know photography but like whatever a hub of photography that promotes spe specific artists you could easily be like telling people how to specifically post it when to post it and how to present it and i'm not going to say you're going to favor it because as a moderator you don't have power to make something trend or not but you have power to like know how your subreddit works, how your community works and operates, and pretty much at the end of the day, you could maybe click here and there to make it, you know, just, I guess, more favored over other content. And if anyone's doing that, the last thing they want is to go public. Like you would do that and I would stay at home and do it, you know, like, oh yeah, I love you guys, we're moderating the community. And then in the back end, I'm pretty much just plugging things and making money out of it. It's 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 a way to do it. That's the problem with volunteering work as like I deal with administration and mods. The administration is great, mm. but the administration isn't Reddit because they like they oversee Reddit. The moderators create the subreddits and deal with the communities and pretty much like fine tune it into being a thing. The admins don't do that. They just mm. ban people and keep it in check, which is good. Like you need that. But the thing is volunteering work that is free how do you they they're not either they're not bound by contract they're not well, morally you can't really know people like i've met people that i thought i was friends with a lot of, a lot of us thought thought we were friends with and it turned out to be like some weirdo like actually a weirdo that is just deletes his account makes another one and comes after us he's like tries to to start fires and i'm like dude who cares just just get over it. Probably you have something better waiting for you in the real life. Don't get that negatively, you know, engaged with something online. It's just too much. Negativity is not worth it. I just, I'm here because it was funny. And now I'm here because I'm kind of known and it's mm -hmm. hard for me to like, or I'm going to stop entirely. But I know what you're saying. And it is the dark side of Reddit where promotion and shilling is hard to control. Do you think it's widespread? I don't think it's that widespread because I mean moderating teams often you know get so every every month or two depending on this on the on the subreddit itself they get kind of reviewed and they get you know refreshed they bring new people in kick people out that aren't active and all that so they keep an eye on I'm talking default uh, subreddits 
I don't know smaller subs how they operate on surely some smaller subs even they, they have like hundreds of thousands of followers whoever made it could be you know could have a, like a fake freebooting YouTube account uh, sorry page and he tries to plug it you, you don't know these things I often spot things I'm like well that's not an actual source but then at the end of the day I don't care to go further and be like yeah why are you doing it it's not my problem I remember a lot of people telling me, well, why the hell do you do it? Why wouldn't you actually make money out of it? Why don't you do like viral consulting and all that? But I never wanted to do it. I never, I never put, put, you know, wrapped my head around the whole do it professionally up until I did it professionally with the company, not myself. There has never been a more important time to support independent media and investigative journalism. So if you like the work we do, then subscribe to our channel, send us tips, and most importantly, if you can, pledge to our Patreon and help keep us going and keep us uncovering these stories. Cheers.